We know that the planet is in crisis. We know that many natural systems are at a crucial tipping point, and a lack of expedient and effective action could at last create irreversible conditions in which we live on planet Earth. What you may not know is that we face our own great environmental challenge within the blue line of the Adirondack Park, one of the few truly wild places left in the world. The industrial era has wrought a specific devastation to our home, and our aquatic systems face a dire threat. The threat is called Eurasian Water Milfoil. invasive from uh, Eurasia or specifically the Caspian Sea and it was brought to this part of the world by transoceanic ocean tankers. Um, when you would out there water in the St. Lawrence Seaway you'd have a lot of invasives like zebra mussels and, and Eurasian milfoil in that water and then it spread down through the Great Lakes area and then from there hopped into all the lakes in the Adirondacks, well not all of them but 50 or more at this point via boats animals, anything. Um, there's a lot of ways for a fragment to cling to something and successfully make it into another water body. My name is Andrew Lewis and I'm co-owner of Aquatic Invasive Management LLC. Small business started last year towards the end of the dive season for Eurasian milfoil removal and management. This is the northern bay on Minerva Lake, which is kind of the starting point for the milfoil problem that has come to exist here. We found that milfoil definitely spreads mostly by fragmentation, um, and it's adapted to facilitate that. So you'll actually see a plant as it grows starts out as an individual stem, and then it adds more and more stems as it reaches the surface. It grows taller and faster than any native species, so it wins the sunlight competition in the beginning of the growing season. And then after a little while, it'll start growing off sprouts of additional stemmage that will then start growing root hairs in preparation for fragment. And then all, it's, all of a sudden that plant will release its fragments, this auto-fragmentation. It's gotten to the point where those stems have weakened enough to where they break off easily. Their root fibers are already there, so as soon as they touch down on sediment, there's another plant growing. So that's its main spread mechanism. We began with uh, a very heavy infestation. A lot of areas were extremely overgrown. You start with your dense areas, and a lot of times that involves benthic gnats. Um, when you have a bed of milfoil that's feeding fragments out, you want to mat it, turn it off so it's not an auto-fragment and causing more problems for you.
With the most dense areas now covered by the benthic mats, the crew will start to hand harvest outer areas. In one 10-hour day, they will pull out up to four heaping rowboats of the plant, well over 1,000 pounds. With our Adirondack waters thus imperiled, we must take action soon to stop the assault of Eurasian water milfoil. Small companies like Aquatic Invasive Management are a beginning step, but we have to go farther in raising the awareness of this overwhelming problem. The nearly 3,000 bodies of water in the Adirondacks, where we have our homes, our camps and resorts, where our families enjoy the gift of our state park, are gravely threatened by milfoil. It's time to take back our troubled waters. Thank you.